Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, we're going to be doing this Cardinal C2C. So, I've already done all the, I've got all my written instructions. All the colors that I'm using, I'm using red and wine for the red for the Cardinal and then wine for this outline. I'm using black just for this eye. Brown is going to be this perch. And then curry color is going to be for this beak up here. This is my curry color. This is a craft smart value, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't cut the tag properly. This this will be a craft smart value but it's way up. So this video is going to have chapters because it's going to be obviously quite long. This is a craft smart value. This is tomato color. This is what I'm going to use for the bird's body. And then I've got some of this red heart red. Um, I don't know the actual color of the red and that's going to be for the outline. I do have it written down as a W for wine color, but I'm just going to use the, the darker red for the outline. And then this is just a Craft Smart value brown. And then <clears throat> this is going to be my background. So I figure blue for a sky, right? So this is a, I, I think succulent is the color. And this is going to be the whole background of the whole thing. So this is um, 30 rows, 30 blocks. It's pretty big so that's why I'm saying it's it's gonna be chapter videos because it's a big project so the background I'm choosing is yellow because I don't really have any yellow in this um, tutorial I'm using a 4.5 but depending on what you're using as far as yarn goes um, you can use whatever you want. We're going to be working in double crochets. So um, I will work through the whole C2C aspect with you. So I'm not just going to expect that you already know what's going on. I'm going to assume that you don't know what's going on. So if you've never done C2C before, here you go. We're about to start. <laughs> so get whatever background color you want. Like I said, mine's going to be blue. So we start off is just going to be the background for the first three rounds. So whatever this color is that you want. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. You can come down here with me. And we're going to chain six. In the middle one, so basically, with this one that you go into, you should have two stitches left. So it's easier to count up from the bottom. You're going to start putting a double crochet. And then the last two, put a double crochet in each of those. That's your first block. Chain six. And you're going to do the same thing. So one, two, and then the third one from the bottom, you're going to put a double crochet. And then a double crochet in the next two. And now you have two blocks. You're going to turn this one. Just like that. And then in this space here, you're going to go in and you're going to do a slip stitch. Oops. And then you're going to chain three, half of what we do 
to start the block. And then you're going to put three double crochets into that same space. So now we have three blocks. So each block should have four double crochets. This chain three acts as a double crochet. So that's our corner and that's our start. I need to get a ruler to mark <laughs> where I am. So round three, you're going to chain six. And in the third stitch, I always put my thumb there so I know the third stitch. You're going to start your double crochets. You're going to do three of them. And then you're going to turn. You're going to go into that first space and slip stitch. And you're going to chain three. And then you're going to put three double crochets in that same space. You can fold this guy down out of the way. So that's my three double crochets. And then you're going to pop into this space and you're going to slip stitch. You're going to chain three and put three double crochets in here. There, first three rows. So the fourth row, we're going to add our wine color because we're going to be outlining the start with the outline of the bird. So because we don't have another block to go into, we're going to chain six. And we're going to do our double crochets starting in the third stitch from the bottom. So I'm going to be <clears throat> changing color to this next block. And I'm going to pull my red through for a slip stitch. You can change color any way you want. And I'm going to chain three. So I'm just going to pull down on my blue. I'm going to need my blue again, so I'm going to be going back to that. So this tail of my red, I'm going to just kind of, when I do my three single crochets, it's going to be back there getting weaved in. If none of my yarn balls want to feed, lots of people change color in lots of different ways, but this is a wall hanging that we're doing, not a blanket or anything, so it doesn't really matter um, if there's anything at the back, in my opinion, but that's just me. So I'm going to carry this up, and I'm going to slip stitch into this next one with my red. Chain three, three double crochets. So that's round four is one block of the background and then three of the wine colors, what I'm calling it, in this one. So round five starts with a wine color block, so we're good. We don't have to change at the end here, so we're going to chain six. And 
And we're going to do our three double crochets. And we're going to turn. So I need to switch to red. So I've got my one block made. My camera shut off. It doesn't like to stay on. Um, I need to switch to my red, so I have two reds that I, that I have to do, but I'm at the back of my project, so I've got this from where I weaved before, and I need to do a color change. First of all, I'm going to bring my wine back here. I'm going to grab my red. I'm going to come from the back and pull through this way. That way all my stragglers stay at the back. And I'm going to do chain three. I'm going to weave in my wine color as well because I need it, I need it after the two reds. So this is my second red and I have to go back to the wine color just for one block. So I'm going to move my red to the back. I'm going to grab my wine color and I'm going to finish that stitch with my wine color. And then I'm going to, once all these are attached, it's a lot easier to change colors. So I'm going to do my slip stitch, my chain three and my three doubles with my wine color. So you can continue to weave in these colors down here, but I think I'm okay. So I got to go back to blue, so I'm not going to finish my last stitch with my wine, but I am going to bring it to the back and I'm going to grab my blue and I'm going to finish that stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch, do my three, chain three and my three double crochets. So, this is where I teach you how to make bobbins. So we're going to take a break from this for a second while I show you how do I make my bobbins. Some people like to use um, a clothespin. So let's start with this wine color since it's here. And I just like to wrap it. And you can make bobbins ahead. So I wrap nice and tight. I'm, I leave some at the end and then I come back up and I just go back and forth making a mountain in the middle, so to speak. I'm sitting at my desk, so I don't actually need to do this. But if you're at a table and you've got to move your work around because you're taking up, say, a dining room table or, you know, what have you, then you can uh, use use the clothes pegs because everything's safe, right? You just fold the blanket up and and away you go. Round six. We're going to do one block with the blue, so chain six. Do your double crochets and your three doubles. So, turn your work. Um, we are going to the wine color currently, so I've got my wine right here. So when I go in to do my slip stitch, I'm going to use the wine to pull through. 
So you just need to pull down on your blue to kind of snug everything up. I'm going to chain three with my wine color. With my wine color, I'm only doing this one block, and that's the back of my work. So I'm going to do my three double crochets. I am switching to red, so this last stitch I'm not going to finish with my wine. Oh, I'm all jacked up with my blue. I'm going to finish it with my red color, and I'm coming all the way across over here. So just make sure I don't, you don't pull too tightly. And I'm going to slip stitch. And with my red, I'm going to do chain three and three double crochets. I need to do three red, so I'm just gonna keep going and leaving my, um, yeah, this blue is already being a pain in my butt. camera does not like to stay on today. Anyway, I'm just leaving my wine hanging off the back here because I am not going to go back to it until after. So three reds, so I've done one, so I'm just going to continue. So on my last double, um, I have to go back to my blue. I have now my blue over here, and this is where I want to make a new bobbin because I want to have blues on either side because when this thing gets big, uh, I'm not going to want to drape my blue across the project. So. I'm going to make another bobbin. So I know right now you're going, can we just make this thing already? No, because these are very important parts of making your life easier in the process of making this thing. So if you've clicked on this project thinking it was going to be a one day project, it's not. This is going to be multiple days. Um, I, I don't really know anybody that could do a project this big in one day, but it is going to be many chapters and many hours and many bobbins. <laughs> you can actually buy bobbins. So if, if you want to buy bobbins, you can actually buy bobbins. So I need to finish this last stitch with the blue because that's what I'm going back to. So I'm just going to put it over my hook. Let my straggler kind of hang down. There's really no point weaving it in. And then I'll do my, my last chain three, three double crochets. So this is what you should have so far. Round seven is going to be one block with the blue, so we're going to chain six. And we're going to do our three um, double crochets. So turn your work. Now we're going to be working at the back of this. So you just kind of got to move everything along to where it's supposed to be. I need a wine color over here. And again, I could just drape it because I can weave in all 
the way along because I don't really care what it looks like. You just got to be careful on how um, loosey-goosey you make this. So I'm going to bring my blue across here because this is the back of my project. And I'm going to go in through the back door and grab my wine and pull it through. So just pull your blue snugly. Now I'm going to put my wine over here. So everything I'm using now is at the back. I shouldn't get I shouldn't get nicely tangled. I shouldn't get tangled at all. So I'm going to chain three and do my three double crochets. Again, just pull your blue down to snug everything up. I'm only doing three wine. So that's one. So I'm going underneath my wine before I slip stitch to kind of just pull that up. Chain three, three double crochet. So this wine has to stay at the back of the project. Um, it likes to roll around to the front. And then I'm going to red, so my last stitch will end with the red. So I'm going to do half that stitch. I'm going to bring my wine back over here out of the way because this is the back of my project. And I'm going to grab my red. And I'm going to finish the stitch. So yeah, I am pulling it up across, but like I said, I personally don't care. You can change colors any way you want to. Um, the back of mine is not ever going to be seen. And I can always just build a back to cover it all up. So I change colors differently depending on the project that I'm doing. So I need to go back to blue. So I'm not going to finish that last stitch with red. I'm going to finish it with my blue over here. But when I pull, because I'm going to be doing a slip stitch, so it's not as far as what you think it might be. So I'm going to do my chain three and my three doubles. And again, you're just going to pull snugly on your red to snug that down. probably going to need to do another wine. All right, round eight. So just to give you a perspective, we're on round eight. So that shorter time, we've done eight rows. We have 57 to do to finish the project. So, um, um, this will be in chapters, and I don't know how many, I'll, I'll probably just play it by ear. I'm not going to do like, you know, one to ten, ten rows every chapter. It's probably just going to be sporadic. Just, I guess, whatever I feel like doing. But the chapters will be written in the description box. And all you have to do is click on that number to go to the chapter. You don't have to fast forward to find chapter two. You just have to click on the number. It'll take you right to chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. So easy peasy, we're going to chain six, we're still sticking with our background color. So we're going to turn all this. It's easier to turn this than to turn this. So. Now, everything is at the back that I'm working with, so 
makes my life a little easier. We need to do one more block of blue before we change color. So chain three, do your three double crochets. So before I finish this last color, I am going to my wine color. So I'm just going to move my red. This is my wine. I'm going to pull it all the way across from over here. I'm going to do my slip stitch, snug up my blue, chain three with my wine color, which is just about out, but I'm only doing one, one block of wine. So, oops, on your last double crochet, you're going to have to finish it with red. So this is my last double crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my red. Undo my slip stitch and my chain three. So I'm going to do three red blocks. I'm going to snug down on my wine, so just give it a little pull. This is my last block. <laughs> my red will not unwind. So I am going back to blue, so I'm not going to finish that last stitch with red. I'm going to finish it with my blue. So just be careful of how, when you have to come across two blocks like that, how, how snug you are. And I'm going to do my two blocks of blue. I'm going to snug up my red. we go. This is what you should have. Round nine, we're starting with two blocks of blue. So I'm going to chain six. And starting in that third chain, I'm going to do my three double crochets. And I'm going to turn my work. So everything just kind of has to get pulled over this way. I'm going to leave this blue up there because I'm working with it. I'm going to make my second block. So slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets. So you chain six on the ends to make an extra block and you chain three everywhere else and do your three double crochets to sum up. So I'm not going to finish that last stitch with my blue, but I'm going to bring my blue over here because this is now the back of my project. So I'm going to do three wine color. And my wine color is way over here. So now that we're getting bigger, I don't want to have to keep pulling across. I am just going to start a new bobbin, a new wine color. And again, because I'm at the back of my project, let me just pull it out. I'm only, I'm doing three wine colors, so I'm gonna end up carrying this probably all the way over here anyway. So I'm finishing 
this last stitch with my wine color instead of doing the whole backwards business we'll do it this way so there's plenty of options on how you want to do it I'm gonna leave a bit of a tail just so I can um, weave it in later so I'm gonna do my slip stitch and chain three so three wines pull down on your blue pull down on your wine I'm just gonna pop my straggler up and I'm gonna weave it in And I am going to red after this. So I am going to finish my last double crochet with red. So this comes over here because we're at the back. I'm going to pull up my red, which is just about gone. And I'm going to finish that stitch. And then I'm just going to do my one block, so slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets. I'm going back to blue, so I'm going to finish this last stitch. And I don't have much red left, but I'm just going to plunk it over here. We get this wine color out of the way. And I'm going to do three blocks of blue. So chain six, we're going to do three blocks of blue for round ten. So we're doing three blocks of blue and then we're going to change to our wine color. So that's my three blocks. I am not finishing that. Well, I am, but I'm going to finish it. Where's that wine color I had before? This wine color I was almost running out of before. That's what I'm going to finish it with. I'm only doing one block of the wine. So chain three, snug down on your blue, do your three double crochets with your wine, and then the last double crochet you're going to finish with red. I love the contrast. I'm glad I chose to do the colors this way. So I'm going to finish this last double crochet with my red. I'm going to do three red. So 
So if that happens, <laughs> I'm just going to finish this last stitch with my red. Um, this is, I don't know if this is something you want to do, but if that happens to me, I will tie these in a double knot. I still weave them in, but leave your hook in there so you know how tight to make that. And then I'm still going to weave these two pieces in on my with my double crochets. Now what did I say I was doing? Three red. So I'm still going to, I'm going to bring my pieces up here. Sorry, my dog is um, distracting me. Oh, it's the garbage truck, or the cardboard truck. So, that's my three red blocks. And I'm going back to blue and doing three blue blocks. So, I actually shouldn't have finished that last double crochet with my red. I have to finish this last double crochet with my blue. Let's get everything out of the way. So I'm going to finish that last double with my blue. My dog is so neurotic. I'm going to pull down on my red to snug that up a bit. So this is what you should have. We're just at the tail part. So round 11 is going to be three blue blocks. So we're going to do chain six. Starting in your third chain from the bottom, you're going to do three double crochets. And turn. So everything but the one you're using comes forward just to make your life easier. And we make two more blue blocks. So I'm going to wine color. So on my last stitch here, I'm going to pull my blue forward because I'm at the back of my project. I'm going to find <laughs> my wine color, which is way over here. I'm going to pull it across. finish my stitch. So I am doing three wine color. So I'll pull down on your blue to kind of snug everything up. So this, I'm going to weave over this pull that I just pulled across with. The best thing about putting chapters in my videos is I can take the time to show you guys. So I'm going to go under my wine because when I slip stitch it'll pull that piece right up. And I can weave that in up here. I'm 
I can uh, take the time with you guys and not worry about a time constraint. Again, I'm going under my piece of wine before I slip stitch, just to pull it up. And I'm going to weave. So that's why it's important to make sure you're keeping things all loosey-goosey. So I'm going to my red, which means on this last double crochet, I'm going to finish it with my red. So I'm just going to pull my wine over here. And then finish that with my red. I'm only doing one red in this round. So chain three. So I'm going to pull down and snug up my wine. So on my last double crochet, I'm going to finish it with my blue. It is rainy and humid out and I don't know if that's why my camera keeps shutting off or why. Anyway, I didn't do anything. I'm going to finish that with my blue and then I'm going to do my three, three blocks, four blocks, four blocks of blue. So round 12, we're going to do four blocks of the blue. And then everything gets moved. <laughs> I have a funny way of moving stuff, but... So I just need three more blue blocks and then I'm going to go to my wine color. So on my last double crochet, I'm going to find my wine. I'm only doing one so I'm just going to use this little guy over here. That was a bad idea. I need another bobbin. The reason I do not give you PDF files for this is because this is not mine. I did not make it up. I got this off of a free website of C2C. Well, actually they're just graph cans. I, I made it a C2C. And that's the reason why I don't do PDFs because it's not technically mine. I'm just using the free graph, in case you're wondering. So, I only have this one to do, but I'm going to have to, unfortunately. Do this. I'll just have to sew that in later, because I only have one more double crochet. So it won't get weaved in enormously, but um, I'm going to red after this, so I'm going to finish this double crochet. Oh, now I'm tangled. You over here. So I'm going to the red. That's wine. I guess I could have used that. So this is my red. I'm going to finish that stitch with my red. Um, I suppose I could try to weave in this burgundy, this wine color with my red. Just to, just to keep it safe. Uh, so red. I'm doing three reds.
this is my third block and then I'm going back to blue so this is my last double crochet so I will finish that with my blue and I will do my four blocks of blue Round 13, we're going to do four blocks of blue. So chain six. So everything turns. I'm not sure why I just turned it that way. I'm making my own life miserable. I seem very awkward because I'm on camera. I am not used to doing this on camera. <laughs> anyway, I have to make three more blocks. My last block, and then I go to the wine color. It does go pretty fast. The C2C is a pretty fast workup. Those are my four blocks. So I'm gonna go to my wine color which is, do I have a closer one? This one's closer. So I'm just gonna pull this across, I'm trying to keep this loosey-goosey. Uh, my wine color this time is going to be three squares, three blocks. Again, just, oh, I didn't pull my blue forward, sorry. Let's rewind. Because I'm at the back, I have to pull my blue forward. Sorry if I just screwed up a whole ball of people. The last block and I'm going to do one red after this so my last double which is good because this was getting really short I'm gonna finish that with my red and I'm gonna do one block of red. So I'm going to pull my red out over here. I need my blue. I'm going to finish that with my blue. Uh, I'm going to loosen that up just a titch. 
I'm going to pull this while I come across to snug my blue up. So, it all works out to be perfect tension, so I'm snugging up my red. And I'm going to do five blocks with the blue. That's my five blocks. We are on round 14 and we're going to start with five blocks of blue. So chain six. Starting with the third stitch up and you're going to do three doubles. I don't think I have to keep saying that. I probably will though because it becomes a habit. <laughs> and I'm going to turn my work. This is my last block and then I'm going to my wine color. So I got to finish this last stitch. You don't need to pull your blue over because this is the back crappy part. I'm going to finish that last stitch with my wine color. I'm doing one wine. And then I'm going to be um, doing three red. So one wine on my last double crochet. I'm going to switch to my red. Finish that stitch with my red. my chain three and I'm going to do three blocks of red So my last stitch I'm going to finish with blue. And I'm going to do five blocks with my blue. Five blocks of blue. So this is what we have. We have the tail. We have the tail going on. Round 15 starts with five blocks of blue. So we're in chain six. And do your three double crochets. And then we're going to turn. 
everything around. And make four more blocks. This is my fifth block. I am going to be going to my wine color. So I'm going to stitch. I'm going to pull my blue forward because this is the back. Some people will argue that there's no back and no front to see two C's. And there are. <laughs> Let me get all my stuff. Um, I don't know if I really want to pull across. I'll pull across. I'll just do it loosey goosey. Really loosey goosey. So I'm going to finish this last stitch with my wine color. I'm going to keep that loose. I'm going to put that up there. I'm doing three wine, three blocks of wine. So this is my third one. I'm going to red. It's just going to be one block of red. If I ever manage to get my bobbins to unwind for me. So I'm going to finish this last one. So I'm pulling my wine over here to this side, kind of out of the way. Finish that with my red. And I'm still going to weave in this piece of wine because it does come from over here. So I'm going to do my, I'm going to go under the piece of wine to go in to do my slip stitch. And I'm going to do my one red block, weaving in that other color. No one's going to notice it. No one's going to see it. And if they do, they'll just think it's part of the bird. So this is my last stitch. I'm going to pull my wine forward. I like to just put everything on my work once it starts getting bigger. And I'm going to finish it with the blue. Pull the blue up here out of the way. And with the blue I'm going to do six blocks. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just thought I'd better count that. So this page ends at round 17. So I think that's where we're just going to stop chapter one. Right now we're doing round 16 and you're going to do six blocks of blue. That's your chain six. Third stitch from the bottom, you're going to put a double crochet and then two more double crochets. I know, I don't have to keep saying it. And 
and turn your work. Five more blocks of blue. So this is my last block and I'm going to do one wine after this. So, two, three, four, five, six. I am not going to finish my last, my last blue with blue. I'm going to do it with the wine. And I'm going to do one wine. go to red. Untangle my red with my blue. And I'm going to do three blocks of red. That's my third block of red. I'm going to finish it with my blue color. And with my blue, I'm going to do six blocks. very last, the very last round, we're going to add our brown. And we're going to start, this starts our um, perch. So this is the tail of the cardinal. It gives you an idea. Excuse me, I have the hiccups again. Gives you an idea of the size. That's the tail. So we're starting our perch over here. It gives you a, a size idea of, of how large this is going to be. So this will be our final row of chapter one, starting our perch. So um, you don't need a whole lot of brown. Um, but it's going to be here, here, and it's only going to be just for a couple of rows. So I would just make one bob, and I, I'm sure one bob, and we'll be fine. Or two if you want to use at both ends, which might be a good idea, not to stretch the brown across. So if you wanted to make two bobbins, I would go ahead and do that. But they don't have to be very big, that's for sure. This particular round though, we're only doing two blocks of the brown and it won't be on the other side yet. That'll be done in chapter two. So, but it's so quick to make bobbins, it doesn't really matter. So, first you're gonna do two blocks of the blue.
So, flip your work around. I'm telling you, this camera. So, this is where I tied my knot. I am just going to go up underneath these two pieces to do my slip stitch, to do my second block, so I can weave that in. So I'm going to brown after the this block. So my last stitch, ooh, my last stitch is going to get finished with brown. And then with the brown, I'm going to do two blocks. And then I'm going back to the blue. So I'm going to weave all my blue stuff in because I'm going back to it. This is my last stitch for that. I'm going to finish with my, oh, I had to pull my brown forward. And I'm going to do two blocks with the blue. So on my second block, I'm going to finish it with my wine color. So I'm going to pull my blue forward because this is the back of my project. I'm going to find my wine color. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to pull across all the way across, finish it. Do this first and then be all loosey-goosey I'm doing three of these other other than that I wouldn't have pulled it across like this but I am doing three so I'm gonna do three blocks of the wine if I was just doing one block I wouldn't have pulled it like this I would have just gotten another bobbin yeah not happy about this not being in my stuff but hopefully I can just kind of hide it After my three wines, I'm doing one red. This is my third wine. So I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to finish it with red after I untangle my blue.
And I'm gonna do one block of red and then seven blocks of blue. Oops. I need to finish this last stitch with my blue. And I'm gonna do seven blocks of blue. So, let me turn this over so you can see what yours should have. This is what you should have. So, this is the end of the first page. And chapter two. I turn the page. Chapter two will be round 18 to round 30 probably we'll just do the whole page so if you wanted to screenshot that page and work ahead of me you can do that too so but i will see you if you're staying with me uh chapter two is just going to be up in a second All right, welcome back to chapter two. So, let's just jump right into this. So we left here after doing our seven blocks of blue. We're going to chain six. Do our three double crochets and then we're going to do seven blocks of blue. So that's our first block. Six more. One more to do, and then I change to my wine color. So, on my last stitch, I'm going to pull up my wine color here. Hold on. My red and my wine crossed. <laughs> so, with my wine color, I'm going to finish my stitch. And I'm going to do one wine color. And then I'm going to switch to red. So I'm going to finish this last stitch with my red and I'm going to do three red. So I just want to pull snugly down on my blue and on my wine color. So three blocks with your red.
So after my three red, I'm going to brown. So on my last stitch, I'm going to switch to brown. And because I'm doing, I'm going to do five blocks, then I'm just going to pull my brown that I already have. I'm just going to pull it over. And I'm going to be sure to weave in the back. So pull down snugly on your red. So five brown. One more, and then I switch to blue. So this is my last stitch. I'm going to finish that with the blue. And with blue, I'm going to do two blocks. Row 19, we're going to start with four blocks of blue and then we're going to go to our brown. So chain six. Do your three double crochets. And turn. So now this is, we should be on the back of our work. And I want you to make three more blue blocks. I need four all together. So the last one will be in the brown. So my last stitch gets finished with the brown. I got to bring my blue forward because I'm at the back. Should have done that first. I don't want to screw any of that up. Okay. Sorry, my battery died. So with my brown, I'm going to do three blocks. So I'm just going to snug down on my on my blue. Snug down. Snug up. I might have to add more brown. So after my three blocks of brown, I'm doing one block of wine color.
So this is my last stitch with my brown. So I'm going to finish it with my wine color. Now my wine color is all the way over here. And I'm only doing one block, so I don't know if I really want to pull it over. I got this wine, and I don't think I'll get a block out of it. I may have to add another wine. Just because I don't want to pull that all the way over for one block. So I'm just going to add another block. Or add another um, bobbin. So I'm doing one block of wine and then I'm going to three blocks of red. I pull this over here. Finish that with my red. And then I'm going to do my three blocks of red. Sorry if I go off camera. I'm going to apologize now for any times that I may go off camera. Um, this is not going to be a small project like I've already stated. So, there might be times where I'm not quite fitting into the camera area, filming spot. I try not to move much, but... So, this is my third block, and then I'm going back to my wine color. So the wine color becomes more of an outline, I think, for the bird's body than anything. I'll have to double check the picture, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. So on my last stitch with my red, I'm going to go back to my wine and I'm going to do one block of the wine. So, um, after this I'm going to blue. I'm going to finish that with the blue. Oh, I did not pull that forward. Hold on. I did not pull that forward. Did I pull my red forward? Nope. Okay. I got to back up. It's super important to pull your stuff forward when you're at the back. Anyway, on your last stitch, you're going to go to blue and you're going to do seven blocks of the blue. So, round 20, we're going to start with 8 blocks of blue. So chain 6. Do your 3 double crochets. And turn. And do seven blocks, seven more blocks of blue. So 
So I'm going to be going um, to red after my eighth block. And I'm just going to be doing two blocks of red. So on my last stitch, I'm going to go to red. Do two blocks of red. Anyway, I'm going to my second block of red. So after this red, I'm going to the wine color. And I'm going to go the wine color for one block, and then I'm going to go back to the red. So I am going to carry the red with me since it's just kind of one little blurpy spot up. Untangle myself from the... So again, I gotta pull right over. I thought I had a wine. Oh, I do have wine on this side. Never mind, I got wine on this side. I don't have to pull over, I just have to pull up. So I'm gonna finish that with my wine, and I'm gonna do one wine, but I'm gonna grab my red, and I'm gonna bring it along with me just for this one. Just so I'm not pulling. So I'm weaving my red in at the back here. So I'm going to finish this last stitch with my red. I'm going to do one red. And then I'm going to go to brown. So that's my one red. So I've done two red, one wine, one red, and now I'm going to finish this stitch with my brown. I don't think I got much brown left. And with my brown I'm going to do two blocks. So that's my first block. I'm going to take my brown little stragglers here and I'm going to weave them in over here. So after my brown, I'm going to go to blue. So I'm going to finish this last stitch with my blue. And I'm gonna, oh I love that when knots are show up like that. And I'm going to do, actually I'm still gonna weave in my brown a little bit. I am going to do um, six blocks of blue to the end. So, round 21, six, chain six. Do your, find my right stitch. Do your three double crochets. We are doing eight blocks. So 
we're at the back again. I can do seven more blocks, so eight all together. And I will put the pause screen up. You can come back whenever you're ready. My eighth block is going to be in the brown. I had to add more blue, so I'm just waving in my blue pieces. In case you're wondering. So after this, I'm going to the wine color, and I'm only doing one block of the wine. So on your last double crochet, don't forget to bring your blue forward, because I always do. Um, wine color. Oh, gosh. What's a mess? I didn't take very good care when I flipped this around. So, my wine color. I'm only doing one block. And then I'm going to go to the red and do one block. And then I'm going to go back to the wine and do one block. So... I read to do one block. Uh oh. A little bit of a knot. So I've got two wines going on. I got a little bit left of this one here. And uh, before I have to switch colors. So I pulled my red over to the side. I'm going to finish that one red block and I'm going to do one wine block. But I'm going to take this red with me because I'm going to do another red block. So I'm just going to kind of pull it up and weave this way. Just kind of holding it down with my thumb so it doesn't roll around to the other side. So that's my one block of wine. I'm going to finish it with red. I'm going to do my one block of red. And I'm going to bring up my wine and I'm going to weave it in because I'm going to do one more block of wine. And I don't really have one over here. I only have two going. So, one, two, three, four. I did three. So I'm going to finish that last one with my wine. Do one more block of wine, and then I'm going to do eight blue. So there's no brown in this at all. Now I'll go over before I go back to the blue. So, so let me snug everything up here. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue. One red, or one wine, one red, one wine, one red, one wine that you're going to finish with your blue. If I can get it untwisted from my brown. And you're going to do eight blocks of the blue. And this is where my pause screen will come up and I will meet you on the other side. So that's my seven blocks done. Uh, 
um, we're on round 22. Or that's my eight blocks done, sorry. Five, six, seven, eight blocks done. You're going to chain six, do your three doubles. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't talk and count. Um, and then you're going to do seven blocks. That's where I got the seven from. You're going to do seven blocks to start this next round. Seven blue blocks. So... So you need seven blocks all together, so six more. I'm on my seventh block, and I'm gonna go to brown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to add brown on this side because I'm going to be doing brown on both sides, I think. I think. Anyway. So I'm going to finish that stitch with brown. I am going to do two blocks of the brown. I'm just weaving in my tail from when I joined. So the after the two blocks, I'm gonna go to red. So on this last stitch, I'm gonna go to red for one block. After this one block, I'm gonna go to wine. So that's my one block. I'm going to carry this red because I'm just about out of it, so I might as well just carry it with me. Because I'm going to be going back to it. So I finished that with my wine color. I'm weaving in the red at the back, carrying it with me. And I'm going to do one wine. So I'm going to finish that with red. I'm going to carry this wine. Oh no, I got wine over here. I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm going to carry this wine just because there's just a little bit of it. So I might as well use it up. So I finished my last stitch with red. I'm going to do two blocks of red. Weaving in this wine behind here. I'm at the end of my line with this red guy. I need more red. Oops. So again, you don't have to do this. You may not even agree with the fact that I do do it. But none of my knots are even visible. They all get weaved in. I just like to be secure. So I need to do my second um, I've got all this to weave in now. I need to do my second block. I'm just going to pull all this nice and snug at the back. What a mess. Sometimes it can be quite awkward. I do my second block of red, and on my last stitch, I'm going to go back to this wine color for one block. So, it's 
wine color. I'm going to do my one block. So you should be at the other wine color from the row before. Um, I'm going to weave in my tails up here too. For just for my red. Oh, I'm going to run out of wine here. I need to add more wine. Oh, there's some more wine. I'm just going to use this wine. Right here. I'm still going to tie this little tail to this new stuff because it is a small little tail. So I'm kind of afraid that it might let go. Oh, what a mess, 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 mess. It can be quite awkward at times when you have to do this nonsense. But I still got three or two more doubles to do. So I'm just going to weave all that crap in. So that's not really going to be noticeable. So we should have seven blue. Sorry, I know you can't see. So you should have seven blue blocks. Two brown blocks. I'm just going to pull down on my brown. Just make sure everything's nice and snug. One red. One wine. Two red. One wine. Oops. And then on this last stitch. Let's move that over there. Um, I'm going to cut all these stupid tails off. Because I've already weaved everything in. I'm going to go back to my blue. And with my blue, I'm going to do eight blocks to the end. So. So I am done my eight blocks. We're going to do our chain six and our one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I thought I miscounted again. And our three double crochets, making our block for the end. And we can turn our work. So before I do what happened last time, I'm going to actually straighten my work out this time. Because it was a, just a huge kerfuffle last time after I turned my work. So we've turned our work. We should be looking at this again. We need eight blocks all together, so we need to do seven more blocks. I am on my eighth block and I'm going to be going to my wine color. So because this is the back of my project, I'm going to bring those again over here. Unravel a little bit of my wine. I'm doing only one block of wine. And then I'm going to red. And we're not going to do this back and forth. One red, one wine, one. I'm actually going to do four blocks of the red. So that's my one wine. I'm going to finish this last stitch with my red. And I'm going to do four blocks of red.
So this is my fourth block. And I'm going to go back to one wine after this. Fourth block, I'm going to get my other roll of the wine. And I'm going to do one block of that. So I just want to pull down on both. I'm going to bring this tail from the join up and I'm going to weave it into my three double crochets. And then I'm going to brown. So that's my three doubles. I'll bring this over here. And then I'm going to brown. So I'm going to finish that stitch with brown. Um, I still want to weave this tail in though, I think, because it's pretty short. Unless I just tie this, I can weave it in after. Cut it off. I like my back to be pretty neat. Anyway, so brown. Um, I'm going to do three blocks of the brown. So I am on my third block and that's going to be on top of the blue. And then when I'm done this block, I'm going to go back to the blue and I'm going to do six blocks with the blue. So I'm going to finish this last double crochet with my blue. And I'm going to do six blocks of blue to the end. So we are, that's my six blocks. So we're going to brown 24. So we're sticking with the blue. Chain six. Do your three doubles to make a block. We're doing five blocks of blue before we go to brown. So let's turn our work. So you need to make four more blocks, you need five all together. This is my fifth block. So I'm going to be going to brown. Ooh. <laughs> That's where you got to straighten everything out, too. Not sure what's going on with this. So, I'm going to the brown. And 
that and I'm going to do four blocks of brown before going to the wine. This is my fourth block of blue, or brown, sorry. So I'm going to wine. I'm only doing one block of the wine color. So one block of wine and then I'm going to red. And I'm doing one red. So I'm going to carry this wine with me because oh, I do have wine over there but I'm going to carry the wine over maybe a block or two. So one red, go back to the wine. I'm going to carry this red because we're doing one wine and then three red. So that's my one wine. I'm going to bring that over here. I'm going to go back to my red. And I'm going to do three red So this is my third red and I'm going back to do my, I'm going to do one wine. So I'm just, I'm right now copying what I did the row below. Let me just move that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I have a wine right here. And then I'm going to finish that double crochet with my wine. And I'm going to do, I have one block. wine and then I'm going back to the blue so I'm gonna have to get a new blue because I only got a little bit but enough to do my change and you're gonna do eight blocks with the blue So that's my eight blues. So we are going to be starting round 25. We're going to round 30 for this chapter. So we're going to soon be done. And then I'll show you what mine looks like. So you can kind of compare it to your own. So...
starting your next round, you're going to do nine blocks of blue. So start with your chain six so you can build a block. Oops. So turn your work. all my stuff on here <laughs> so this turning your work part is always the uh, toughest and again I'm just gonna straighten my stuff out just so it's nice and neat and I know where I'm at I still have this brown attached so this is my ninth block, and then I'm going to be going to red. So I'm going to finish my double crochet with red. With red, I'm going to do six blocks. So no wine uh, yet. Um, after the six blocks, I'm going to do one wine. So just make sure you have wine over on this side. This is my sixth block. So I'm going to finish this last double crochet with my wine that I have on this side. And I'm going to do one wine and then I'm going to go to brown. So I'm going to get my brown. I'm going to finish that last double crochet with my brown. And I'm going to do seven brown. And then go right back into the blue for two more blocks. So I'll put your brown up and then I'll meet you back here for the last two blocks. I am on my last block. I've been taking my blue with me just so I don't have to stretch across. So I've just been drawing it up the side here. Again, nobody's going to see my back. So I'm going to finish that last double crochet with my blue and I'm going to do two blocks of blue. So I need to add more blue because I'm going to be in a bit of a pickle when I try to make my next block. So I think I'm at the back, yeah. I'm at the back and I'm on the end, so it's kind of a tricky spot to, to be. Not a whole lot of... I can just weave in. I've only got one double crochet left to make, so. Because I tied it in a knot, I'm just going to snip it off. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. So 
So round 26, you're going to do one block of blue. So chain six. And do your three double crochets. Okie dokie. So, I don't have much brown left. I'm gonna have to add more brown too, I think. I think I'll steal this brown from over here. I'll just cut it off and move it. Oh yeah, I gotta dump my, <laughs> I gotta dump my stuff. So that's our one block. We have to go into the brown. Um, I'm going to pull that last stitch out. Bring my brown all the way over, even though there's not much of it. Oh, what did I just do there? I'm not sure what I just did. Oh, I got to bring it under my blue. And finish the stitch. Anyway. So I'm going to slip stitch with my brown. And with my brown, I'm doing eight blocks. I am just doing my eighth block and I'm going to be going to one wine after this. So I'm going to finish this with my wine color. So I'm going to do one wine, and then I'm going to do two red, and then the, my wine again. So I think I got wine on the other side. I don't have to really worry about it. But if you don't have wine on the other side, you might want to... Yeah, I got wine over here. Mm. I don't know if it'll be enough. So that's my one wine. I am going to do two red and then one wine and then three red. So that's my two red. Pull my wine from this side all the way across, which may or may not be a good idea. I'm going to do my one wine. Just make sure it's all loosey goosey so you can weave it in. So I'm going to go back to my red. And I'm going to do three red. Two, I got one more block in red. And I go back to my wine color. 
for one block. And then I'm changing back to my blue. And with my blue, I'm going to do nine blocks to the end. So round 27 is where we're at. I only got a little bit left. I got to switch my blue. Anyway, chain six. Make your block. And turn your work. And again, take the minute to get your bearings. So we're going to start this round off with nine blocks of your blue. We just made one. Um, I want to weave these in as I go where I had to add the blue, so. Anyway, you need nine all together. So we got eight more to go. Oh, it almost rolled off the end of the table. This is my ninth block. So my last double crochet will be finished with my wine color. So I'm going to, I'm at the back, so I'm going to bring, um, I just want to point out that when I show you this picture at the end, it's going to be the opposite way because I, depending on what side you choose to be the back or the front, so it's not wrong if yours is the opposite of what I have. It just all depends on what you chose for the back and the front. So I'm going to finish that with my wine color. And with wine, I'm going to do one block. And then I'm going to red for four blocks. So on my last Double crochet, I'm going to go to red, and I'm going to do four blocks with my red. So this is my fourth block of red that I'm going to finish with my wine color. And I'm going to do one block with my wine. So my wine is way over here. So I'm going to do one block of wine and then I'm going to do two blocks of red. So I'm going to finish this with my red. 
I'm still kind of all in the same spot. I don't have much red left, but... And then I'm going to do two blocks of red and then go back to my wine color. So I'm going to kind of just bring this up here and wave it in a little bit. So that is my two blocks. I'm going to finish it with my wine, which I was carrying with me. I'm going to do one block of wine. And this is where it's going to get weird. So I'm going to do this one block of wine. I'm going to do one block of the blue. And then I'm going to go into brown. So I don't really have, um, I'm just going to cut this blue off here by the tail. I'm going to have to carry it with me because I knew I, d I am going to need one block at the end. So I'm going to finish that with my blue. And yes, I am going to tie this blue and this red together. Or the wine, not the red. So again, I'm just leaving my hook in there so I have an idea of how snug I need to be. So, I not need to take this wine with me. But I'm going to weave this blue tail. I'm going to weave the blue in all the way up because I'm going to need it at the end. This is just a little bit of sky showing through. Um, so I'm going to do one block of the blue. And I'm going to go to brown. So that's my one block of blue. I don't have much brown left. I'm going to have to get some more brown. So I'm going to finish that with my brown. I need to, my battery died again. I've gone through six batteries just doing this chapter two. I don't know why. Anyway, I need to weave this blue in. I'm at the back of my project, so um, that's why you're going to see the blue. Because I need to do one block of blue right at the very end. So, um, seven blocks of brown is what you're going to be doing. Just make sure that blue doesn't roll over to the front. And then I'll meet you back here for um, the one block of blue at the end. So this is my seventh block and I've walked my blue up all the way back up since I had to cut it off and bring it down here. So, um, But again, this is at the back of my work so I don't really care what it looks like. So this is the end of my brown. I'm going to finish it with my blue and then I'm going to do my one block of blue. I'm just going to pop this guy up here and weave him in. That's where I cut it off. I just want to weave him in with my three 
double crochet is. And that's my one block there. So we are on round 28. Like I said, this goes to 30. So um, we are going to be going back to brown after we do one block of blue. So chain six with your blue. And do your three double crochets. We can turn this around. So turning it is where you kind of get your, I'm going to need some more red. Turning it is kind of where you get your, um, you're able to just pin it. So when you flip it, it's not going to be so bad. So this is what you should have so far. That's just the butt and the tail of the cardinal. So, I'm going to need this brown. So, I'm just kind of back out of this last stitch that I did because I need to finish it with the brown. And we are going to be doing, oh, hold on, I knocked my thing out of the way. This is the front of my project. Uh, we're going to be doing six brown. And then we're going back to the blue. So, I'm just going to carry the blue with me behind here I am on my sixth block I've carried this blue all the way up because I'm going to go back to the blue So finish that last stitch with blue. Uh, let's get the brown out of the way. So with blue, you're going to do three blocks. This is my third block and I'm going to red after this. So I am going to finish that with my red. Oh, I don't have much red. I'm going to do two blocks of red. And then I'm going to wind. So this is my second block. If I can get through it without having to get more red. <laughs> oh, maybe. So I'm going to go to my wine color. My battery. And go back to my wine color. So I'm going to weave in the rest of this red because... Um, that's all I got. I'm going to have to get some new red. So I'm going to do one wine and then I got to do five red. So I'm going to have to get some more. So 
So I'm not going to need my wine anymore, so I'm just going to leave that hanging over here. I'm going to do five red. So because I just joined, I'm going to weave these two pieces in, even though I did a knot. So I'm just going to pull down on my, on my stuff. We're going to do five red, and then we're going to go back to the blue and finish the finish the row. So this will be my fifth block, and then I go right to blue. I don't go to the wine color. And um, I do 10 blocks of the blue. So I'm going to finish that with blue. And I'm going to do 10 blocks of blue. So I will see you at the end. So this is my 10 blocks, I thought I better count them. So we're staying with the blue, we're going to chain 6, and do our 3 double crochets to make our block. We're going to do 10 blocks. So let's turn this, turn this again and straighten all of our stuff out. <laughs> messy, messy, messy. You certainly do have to have a lot of patience when you uh, do stuff like this. So we need to do nine more blocks. We need ten all together. So I'm on my 10th block, and I'm going to be going to wine, my wine color, oops. So I'm at the back of my project, so I'm going to bring this around, grab my wine color to finish the stitch. And with my wine color, I'm going to do one block. I'm going to red. So bring this around here. Grab my red. Finish my double crochet. I'm going to do four blocks of red and then I'm going to finish it. I'm going to go back to my wine color. So I've got wine over here. So I don't really need to worry about carrying wine, but if you don't have wine over there, then you're probably going to have to carry your wine with you. This is my fourth block. I'm 
bring my red over here and I'm going to finish that with my wine. So I'm just going to pull snugly on all this stuff all the way down. And with my wine, I'm going to do one block. So I'm going to finish my last stitch with my red and with my red I'm going to do two blocks. I'm going to carry my wine with me because I need to do one more wine over here. So two blocks of red. My last double crochet in the red. I'm going to finish with my wine. And with my wine, I'm going to do one block and I'm going to finish that with my blue. So I'm going to finish that with my blue and with my blue I'm going to do four blocks of blue and then I'm going to go to my brown. So my last blue block is on top of my brown from the row before. So I want to move my blue to this side. I'm going to finish that with my brown. And with my brown, I'm going to do five blocks. I have to carry the blue because I'm going to end up doing the one block at the end again, just like before. So five blocks with your brown, carry your blue if you have to, and I will see you on the other side. I'm on my last block of the brown and I'm going to finish my last double crochet with my blue and do one block of blue. So make sure your brown is brought over to this side. This little stubby here can get cut off as that was just weaving. So I'm going to finish that last double crochet with my blue and I'm going to do my one block of blue. Oh, how did I get that knot in there? Oh gosh. Another knot to contend with. There. So let me reiterate this last round. We did 
10 blocks of blue, one wine, four red, one wine, two red, one wine, four blocks of blue, five blocks of brown, and then your last block is blue. So, we are on our very last, let me get my scissors out of the way, we're on our very last round for chapter two, let's make a block. All right, let's turn our work. We get to make two blocks before we have to go back to our brown. So let's, using our blue, make our second block and then we have to change to brown. So, my last double crochet, so again, pull snugly down on your blue. So with your brown, oh, I don't have much brown, but with your brown, you're going to do three, I got to move my <laughs> instructions so I can read them, this thing's getting big. So I want you to do three brown. Um, this is my third block for brown, so I'm going to go back to my blue. And pull my thing back up. With my blue, I'm going to do six blocks of blue. So this is going to be my sixth block and then I'm going to red. So so I'm going to finish this with red. I'm going to do three red. I'd say three, three red. This is my third block and I'm going to be going to wine. So I'm just going to grab this wine down here and pull it up. 
I go to my wine color and with wine I'm going to carry this red switch sides so with wine I'm going to do one block and then I go back to red which is why I'm carrying it So I'm going to finish that last stitch with my red. And with red, I'm going to do four blocks. I am on my fourth red and I'm going to go to blue after this. So I'm going to finish this red with this blue and I'm going to do 11 blocks in blue. So this is the end of chapter two. So the reason why mine is this way, so this is my picture, let me, let me zoom out too. So, oh, the wrong way, oh, it's as far as I can go. So this is my picture, and the reason why this is backwards is because I just chose that this was going to be my my bad side. Um, and I do the same thing with every C2C that I do. It doesn't really matter which direction your picture is going, but if yours is going this this way, then that, that's fine. You've just chosen your good side to be a different side than I did. So I chose this to be my good side and this to be my bad side so that my bird is facing this way. So I'm still building corner to corner. It's just coming out the opposite direction. So if yours is like mine, you're doing absolutely nothing wrong. You're just doing exactly what I'm doing and you you're using this side as your good side and this side as your bad side. So um, the speaking of good side and bad sides, let's flip this around here. I want to protect my loop before I start moving everything around. So this is my other side, which is what we're going to be going to. So I'll just flip everything around. Um, I'm not sure how much brown I'm going to, I think I'm probably done using this dark brown. get everything sorted. I'm running on a blue. So this is my this is my other side. Let's get everything off of it so you can see. So weaving in and stuff you obviously are getting this artifact going on back here. But for the most part, it doesn't look too, too bad. I mean, there's a couple of ones that I, like, I got to weave that in. I got to sew that in. Uh, for the most part, I can just cut some of these short because I tied knots. Um, but the backside doesn't actually look too, too, too bad. I mean, you've got some where we pulled across nice and loosey-goosey. So when we come back for chapter... Um, uh, three, 
we are going to be decreasing which means we're not going to be doing our chain six at the end anymore it's pretty pretty easy peasy decrease if you've never done a c2c decrease if you've never done a c2c and you're still with me <laughs> thumbs up because um, it can probably be intimidating but I've had people that have never done a tapestry crochet with me before and they did it and found it super easy um, so again your yours might be the other way around because it's um like if I was to move this I'll show you what I'm talking about so if I move this around to show the corner that's the picture so you've got your little skinny um, perch here you've got your bigger thicker perch here and your bird is facing this way this is just the back of my work I chose I chose this for my back not my front so I don't know if I'm explaining it right but again if yours is facing the other way like mine on the good side everything is correct it's just facing another direction doesn't mean anything's wrong but if yours is facing the right direction like the picture is and this is your good side then again you're doing everything right there's there's no right or wrong as to what side you choose to be your good side and what side you choose to be your bad side so there's no right or wrong everything's just right so um, I will see you in chapter three and then that is basically we're going to oh uh, chapter three we'll probably stop at the end of the page because I've just been going page for page and then the last page this last page will be chapter four which should be pretty short because then we just get into the blue there's no more color changes or anything we just get into the blue but um, this may actually go a lot quicker chapter three because we're decreasing so it's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller so this may go quick three and four may go fairly quick so we'll see where we're at as far as time goes this may be a four part chapter or a three-part chapter I don't know so we'll see you in chapter three hi guys so oh, welcome back <coughs> start by coughing to chapter three um, so starting with chapter three on we're going to be um, decreasing so this is where we ended off <coughs> sorry I got choked a little bit on my coffee so this is where we ended off um, we did 11 blocks of the blue and this is where we um, start our decrease so we're not doing a chain six I need to turn this around So we're going to be working on this side. I am completely backwards. <laughs> Let me turn it around to the way I had it. Okay. So we're not doing our chain six here. We're just going to turn this. I get my blue out. I'm going to sneeze. And do you see we do three double crochets this is our chain that we normally make 
So on top of our double crochets, we've got a stitch, a stitch, and a stitch, and then we've got this space. So we're going to do three slip stitches. Make sure you're getting under both pieces of that stitch. And then we're going to do our regular, what we do, slip stitch into that chain three space, chain three, and do our three double crochets. So we're doing 10 blocks of blue. And I'll show you what to do when we get to the other end. So starting off 10 blocks of blue. And we just carry on like regular slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets. So this is what it should look like nicely squared off right here and we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I am on my last block and then I'm going to do one wine. So I'm going to finish my last stitch. With my wine color. And I'm going to do one wine and then I'm going to go to red and do four red. And then another wine, another red and another wine. So <clears throat> I'm probably just going to, well, I guess I don't have to. I've got another wine over here, so I don't really have to carry it. I will have to add more red, though. So I need to change to red. I will finish my last stitch with red. So four red. So this will be my last red and then I'm going to go to wine for one more and then I'm going to go back to red for two more. So my red has to come back over here, my wine finish that with my wine color and I'm going to do one wine and then go back to my red. So I'm going to weave my red in just so I don't have to pull it. It's only one block but So just uh, oh, I'm stuck. Let's put my wine over here. Finish that last double crochet with my red, and I've got two more red to do. So I'm gonna pull down on my wine. These are weaved in and tied in a knot, so I can just snip that off. And even that fuzzy, remember that fuzzy piece I had? I think it was in the blue, this fuzz that was came from the manufacturer. Yeah, I ended up just covering it up with a with a block, so things are easily disguisable. Oops, I almost lost my roll. So two blocks of the red and then oh one more wine, so I should probably carry this wine over here.
So that's my two blocks. I'm going to bring my red back over here. Finish that with my wine. One more wine. And then the blue. That was my washing machine. So I'm going to bring my wine back over here because I'm going to the blue. I'm going to have to add more blue. So we're going to do seven blocks with the blue and then we're going to still get into some brown. But the brown is only going to be one block and then we'll go back to blue. So seven blocks of the blue and I will see you right after that. So I am on my last block of blue which should be in the first brown from the row before. And then I'm going to brown for one block and then I'm finishing with the blue for two blocks. So I'm going to finish my last double crochet with my brown. I'm going to snug that up but I'm also going to weave it in. It's only, it's only one uh, block but I don't feel like pulling it across so I'll just weave it in. It gives a really neat look to it. So that's it. I'm going to pull my brown over here get it out of the way. I don't have much brown left because I don't think I'm going to be using much more of it if at all after this. So I'm going to finish that stitch. I'm going to do two blocks and then I'll show you what you do for the decrease over here. So that's my two blocks. So when we come here, all we're going to do is slip stitch and turn. And that is it. So we slip stitched and we've turned our work. And do you remember when I was showing you these three stitches and then the chain three space? You're going to do the same thing you did on the other side. You're going to do slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch. And then we're back to doing what we were doing before, which is normally a slip stitch to start the row anyway, or to start your block. So slip stitch, chain three, and we're ready to go. For the next 10 blocks, they're all going to be blue. So for 10 blocks, do you up your, well, whatever color, I'm using blue. So I'm just saying blue, but whatever color you're using. And then we're going to go to red. So I just wanted to show you again, this is squared off just like our other side. So you start counting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm on my last block, which is my last blue from the row before. And then I'm going to red and I'm going to do eight red. This, this is the easiest row of the whole, uh, <laughs> the whole project. So I'm going to find my red. And I'm going to bring it forward. 
I'm going to finish my last stitch. Oh, wait a minute. I got my blue pulled forward for some reason. You certainly have to have patience, like I've said. So, I don't want my blue pulled forward because this is my front. So, I am going to do 8 red, and then I'm going to go back to my blue and do 10 blocks. So I'm just going to snug that up. So, 8 red, 10 blue, easy peasy. So I am, that's my eighth block. Oh, that's my eighth block. I'm going to finish with the blue. And then with blue, I'm going to do uh, 10 blocks with the blue. So this is my 10th block. I had to add more another bobbin so I'm just weaving in my pieces in case you're wondering what I'm doing why I look silly. So I just I'm gonna cut these off. So we're gonna do again we're just gonna slip stitch and we're gonna turn our work. So I just kind of put my bobbins on my on my work. Um, it's easier. I just got to rearrange everything <laughs> just to make sure it's all sticking out in the right spots that I need them to be. So. I've slip stitched and now I'm going to do my three or I've yeah I slip stitched and turned and now I do my three slip stitches and then I slip stitch into this chain three space and I chain three and I start again so we're on round 33 this again goes to 57 round 33 we're getting smaller now so it is just five, or sorry, nine blocks, and then we go to our wine color. This is my ninth block, and I'm going to my wine color for one block. So I'm at the back of my project, so I'm going to move my ball, my bobbin. I knew that was going to happen. Because it wasn't unraveling for me. So I'm going to red for four blocks. This is my fourth block. 
and I'm going to my wine color so I'm going to pull this forward oh gosh my why is my wine color way over here Just want to make sure that this is going to be loosey goosey a little bit. There we go. I'm only doing the one, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna probably weave. So I'm gonna bring my red with me because I'm going back to the red. I'm only doing the one block of um, the wine color. really hate when it doesn't unravel. So I'm going back to the red and I'm going to do two. I'm still going, what am I stuck on? I'm still going to weave in this where I pulled across. I'm going to weave that in so I'm just going to go up underneath that wine color do my slip stitch and I'm going to do two red and then one more wine so I'm going to bring this with me now you can have multiple bobbins so that you don't have to do this but this really just it is not big enough to be a blanket anyway so mine is just gonna actually I'll, I'll tell you later what I'm doing with mine after I get everything all unstuck so two red and then one more wine going to do nine blocks of oh that was my last <coughs> that was my last stitch <coughs> we're going to do nine blocks of the blue to finish the row So I am done my ninth block. I am going to slip stitch into that top of that other block and I'm going to turn my work. And then I'm going to do my three slip stitches. And then slip stitch in this chain three space, chain three, and go about my business. So, this is what you should look like. It should look like on both ends. At this point, we're on round 34. We're going to do nine blocks of the blue. So, counting from, this is where we've been slip stitching, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're going to finish that with your red. Let me get that blue out of the way. You're going to finish that with your red. And with your red, let me pull my blue down. Oh, that was a little tight. 
Um, so with your red, you're going to do three red, then you're going to do one wine, and then you're going to do four red. So three red. So this is my third red. I need to go, I'm going to use this, this wine over here to pull up. So you're just going to make sure that you're leaving it loose, you're not pulling it too, too tight. Um, I do want to make sure my red is at the back though because this is my front. I'm going to do one wine. And then I'm going to go back to red. So that's my wine. And I'm going to do four red. And then I, uh, I go back to blue and I do nine blocks of blue. I'm on my last block, my ninth block. And I'm going to slip stitch into the top and turn my work. So anyway, I'm running out of room on my table. Anyway, we've done our slip stitches. I turned this backwards, but that's okay. I'll just move this over there. <laughs> I got everything all jacked up. Uh, anyway, I turned this backwards, but... Do your three slip stitches and then slip stitch into your general spot. So we're on round 35, we're gonna do eight blocks and then we're gonna change to wine. So I've done my eight blocks. I'm on my very last thing. I have to switch to, I gotta bring my blue over here because I'm at the back of my project. If you're not at the back here, you don't have to worry about it. I had to add another bobbin. These are called butterfly bobbins, by the way. That's what they are. So I'm going to my wine color. I'm doing only one. Well, I'm, I'm probably carrying it, yeah. I don't know how far I gotta carry. I got wine over here, so I won't have to carry it, but do one block of wine. Um, I'm just gonna grab some of this blue and weave it in. So 
Sometimes my bobbins are so tight, they don't want to unroll. So that's just my one, my one block. I tied a knot with my blue, so I don't have to go very far. So I'm going to finish this with red. And with red, I'm going to do three blocks, and then I'm going to go and do one wine, and then three more blocks and one wine. So that's the lineup. This is my third red block. So I'm going to finish my last double crochet with my wine color. We're running out of red. And I'm going to do one block of my wine. I need to take this red with me because I don't have any red over here. Easy peasy. And three blocks of red. This is my third block, so I'm going to just move my red. I'm going to finish it with my wine color um, and I'm going to cut off these two stragglers of red from where I added my other bobbin and I'm going to do one wine block and then I'm going to go to blue where I'm going to do eight blocks to the end. I'm on my last block, which is my eighth block. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that and I'm going to turn my work. So we're going to do our three slip stitches, slip stitch into your chain three space from the row before, we're on round 36, Just almost lost my ball, fell into my stuffing. <laughs> So, 36. We're going to do 8 blocks. Oh, it looks like we're going to do almost the same thing we did. Almost the same thing we did on the last row. So, let's get our 8 blocks done. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is my eighth block. <laughs> Thought I better check that before I started the clip. So I'm going to wine. I'm going to do one wine, three red, one wine, three red. Oops. So my last stitch. I changed to wine. And I do a block and go to red. I 
You know, you just have days where you cannot crochet. Go to red. And you're going to do three red and then one wine. So I'm just going to kind of carry my wine with me. Since my other one is way over there. I brought the wine with me all the way through the back here. This is my third. I'm going to change back to my wine. going to bring my red. I'm going to do one wine and go back to red. So you're almost following exactly what you did before. So you can go back to red. Um, I don't have to bring my wine this time because I'm not finishing with the wine. So I'm going to do three red so this is my third red but I'm not going to wine this time like I did on the last row I'm going to blue So we're going to move the wine and the red over here, grab our blue, finish that with the blue, and we're going to do eight blocks with the blue. So I've done my eighth block and I'm going to slip stitch to the top there and turn my work. So I'm going to do my slip stitch. Slip stitch into my regular spot and chain three. So for this round we're on round 37, so we're going to do seven blocks. We're going to change to our wine color at the end of that. This is my seventh block. I'm going to finish it with wine. I'm at the back of my project, so I'm going to bring that forward. So I'm only doing one wine. I'm going to red and with red I'm going to do seven blocks oops of the red and um, I'm not doing any more wine just seven blocks of the red
So this is my seventh red. And I am going to blue, not to the wine color. And I'm going to do eight blocks of the blue. So I'm on my eighth block. I'm going to slip stitch and turn my work. So slip stitch, do your three it's four slip stitches, but it's three on top of your three double crochets, and then your fourth one is in here. I don't know. I don't have to keep repeating it. I don't know why I keep repeating it. So round 38 is pretty easy peasy too. We're getting faster and we're getting better. I'm on my seventh block. Anyway, I cut off my, I had my, um, my wine in the middle here, so I just cut it off to, to move it because I didn't want to mess around. So, I'm only doing one wine. Then I'm going to the red. So, put this red up here. So, with red, I'm doing six blocks. So I'm on my sixth block and I need to finish my double crochet with the wine color. And then I'm going to do one wine. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to do seven blocks of the blue. So I have done my seven blocks. I'm going to slip stitch and turn my work. Three slip stitches, four all together, and one into here. So Get my stuff all straight. So we're going to chain three. We're on round 39. We're going to do six blocks, then we're going to go to our wine color for one block. So 
So this is going to be my sixth block. So I'm at the back, so I'm going to move my blue to the front. I'm going to finish it with my wine color, and I'm going to do one wine, and then I'm going to go to my red. So I'm going to finish that with my red. And let's see. Six red and then one wine. So I've got wine over here I can use. So six red. This is my sixth block. Oops. I'm going to finish it with my wine color. And I'm going to do one wine. Switch to blue. And I'm going to do seven blocks with my blue to the end. So that is my seventh block. I'm going to slip stitch and I'm going to turn my work. Certainly it's not easy to do once it starts getting big and you don't have any space. You certainly have to have a lot of patience for stuff like this. But it's going to look so great. So do your three slip stitches. And then your fourth slip stitch is in this chain three space, chain three. So we're on round 40. And round 40 starts with seven blocks of blue. And then we go into one wine color, six red, one wine, and then five blocks of blue. That's going to be the lineup. Um, so it's almost exactly if you follow your, if you follow what we've already done, except for at the end's going to have five blocks, and not, and not six. Originally we had started with six. Anyway, enough blabbing. You're going to do seven blocks of blue. So this is my seventh block. So I'm going to finish that with my wine color and I'm going to do one block of wine. Holy cow, got two left hands. <laughs> that was close. I gotta change to my red. And 
with red. I'm going to do six blocks. <laughs> I'm on my six block. have to finish it with my wine color. And with my wine color, I'm going to do one block. I'm going to cut off these two pieces that I tied. And remember, when I'm tying these pieces, none of these knots are visible or can be felt. So, um, so I'm going to do this one wine color and then I'm going to blue and I'm going to do my five blocks of blue to the end. Getting shorter and shorter. So I'm on my fifth block. And I'm going to slip stitch. Turn my work. So we're going to do our slip stitches. Slip stitch into that chain 3 space. And round 41. So this chapter is going to round 42. So we're just about done the chapter. I know it's been really long, but chain 3. Make your block. You're going to do 4 blocks. And then we're going to go to our wine color. This is my fourth block. So I'm at the back, so I'm just going to make sure this bundle of crap that I got going on here is at the back. So that's four, one, two, three, four. We're going to do switch to our wine color, and we're going to do one block of wine. And then we're going to red. Man, I am having a day. And then we go to red. We're going to do seven blocks of red. And then seven block blocks of the blue. So we're not going back to wine, so I don't need to take my wine with me. So seven blocks of red, and then seven blocks of the blue, and I will meet you back after that for the final round. So all that will be on my pause screen, the red and the blue. So that's my seven blocks of blue. I'm going to slip stitch and 
return my work. So it's coming along, making our way up to the head. So we're on the last round for this chapter. We'll finish this in chapter four. So do your three slip stitches and then your fourth one into this chain three space and chain three. All right, you're gonna do six blue. So this is my sixth block. I'm going to add some wine color. I'm going to do one block with wine and then go to red. Go to my red. I'm gonna weave in this wine tail that I got going on back here. And with red, I'm going to do uh, seven blocks. And then I'm going back to wine just for one block before the blue. So seven blocks of red. I will see you on the other side. This is my seventh block, and then I'm going to wind for one block. And then I'm going to the blue. And with the blue, I'm going to do three blocks. So I just want to snug everything up. Three blocks to the end. So that's my three blocks of blue. And I've got a great big knot happening here, but that's fine. I could take care of it after. So we're going to slip stitch. And then this is the end of chapter three. Chapter four, we'll be finishing everything up. It'll be super quick because look how small we are now. I'll show you. Well, you can see your own work. Oh, what the heck's going on with this? There we go. I just want to protect my loop for the night and then show you what we got going on so we already started the head of the bird all this is the marking for the wings kind of highlighting where the wings are and stuff so subtle with the ch with the colors that it chose and then of course the the perch and the tail. So it's looking pretty good right now. I can't wait to see it complete and finished. Oops. So, um, 57 blocks, 57 rounds all together. And we're going to be starting chapter, chapter four on round 43. So all we've got left to do is this this is it this is we're going to close up this so it gets smaller and smaller and um 
it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm super excited. Um, so we will probably, in chapter four, we're gonna need some black. So I've got this black. I'm gonna use this sparkly red heart for his eye. It's literally one block, so for his eyeball. And then uh, I have this curry color for his beak. That's the closest to a beak color. Um, Cardinal's beaks are not yellow, so um, look up a picture and make sure you, you, you're going to have the right color for his beak. Um, this is curry. This is a Crafts, Craft Smart Value curry. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, curry is the color. So um, that's what I'm going to be using for his beak, and that'll be done in Chapter 4. So let me guys know, since this is Chapter 3, some of you that may want this in a tapestry crochet because you don't know, you're not, you don't like C2C or whatever, um, just let me know if you want it in the tapestry crochet style and I can do a pattern for that and do a video for it if you want a tapestry crochet. Um, you're going to use less yarn actually. This has uh, been um, probably as far as my blue, I'm probably about a seven ounce skein and a half so uh, so ca so call it I don't know seven ounce so call it ten ounces maybe and uh, or two rows actually maybe I've done two skeins of the blue there's a lot of blue and I think the red has been about a skein so far maybe a skein in a little bit I'm not really keeping track the the wine color I've done is probably just a skein and the brown was just you know a third of a quarter of a skein but the, the biggest colors are this tomato red and this succulent blue and I'm gonna see by the time it's done I probably did two and a half to three skeins of the succulent blue and probably two and a half skeins of the red so <clears throat> there's a lot to it I will see you in chapter four. Hi guys, welcome back to chapter four. This is going to be the end of this guy. This chapter shouldn't be that long. Let's just jump right into this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still fighting this cold. So I've slip stitched. I haven't turned my work or anything yet. <laughs> So, let me get all my stuff out of the way. I lied about this color too. I said it was succulent and it's called Arctic. I actually have a tag. I have this tag. It is Craft Smart and it's Arctic. So, I lied. There's a succulent color, but it's not quite this color. So, do your three slip stitches and your slip stitch into that chain three space. Chain three. So you're going to start off, we're on round 43 to start off chapter four and we're, you're going to start it off with two blocks of the blue before we go to um, the wine color. finish that last stitch with that. I am already at the back of my work. I got my so I'm gonna finish that with my wine. Um, with my wine color I'm only doing one block and then I'm going to red for three blocks. <clears throat> So 
So I'm going to finish this with my red. Oops. And with red, I'm going to do my three blocks. And then I'm going to go back to wine for our three blocks. So my wine is way over here. I might have to carry this wine with me. I don't know. I'll carry this wine. It's just about done anyway. Two left hands and <clears throat> I always start my videos off in the morning when I'm not quite awake. So takes me a long time to wake up. So this is my third block of red. So I'm just going to switch places, finish that with my wine, and I'm going to do three blocks of wine and then go back to my red for one block. So I'm going to take my red with me. So that's my third one. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to lose my voice. <laughs> Go back to my red for one block. And then I'm going to be doing um, my wine. One more wine. So I'm just going to use the one that's over on this side. So one block of red. this wine and do one block of wine and then I'm going to go to the blue and do six blocks of the blue So that's my six blocks of blue, so I'm just going to slip stitch into that chain three space and turn my work. It is so <laughs> difficult <laughs> to do this on such a small space, and I'm used to, I'm used to doing that on my dining room table knocking everything but uh i mean obviously that's not where i film my videos so so I'll do your three slip stitches chain three we are going to do six blocks of the blue
So I am on my sixth block. I'm going to be going to wine color. If I ever learned how to crochet. And then with my wine color, I'm going to do three blocks of wine. So I'm going to change to my black for one block and then go back to my wine because we're at the eyeball. So add my black. I'm going to just tie this black to my wine. So I'm going to take my wine with me and I'm going to weave in my black. So that was my black, the hardest way you could possibly do it. So back to my wine for one more block and then um, um, I'm going to my red. Holy cow, <laughs> is the problem. I am having some serious problems today. Where's my red? Oh, of course my red is way over here. I'm just gonna start another red. This is ridiculous. That other one's almost run out anyway. Let's cut my black off. So the black part is done. So I'm going to add my red. I am not taking my wine with me. So I am doing, oh good God, one black. One wine, three were red. Three red, oh, I didn't expect that. Three red, and then I'm going back to uh, the wine color. So I guess I should be taking it with me. I'm late now, but. So that's my third red. I'm going to finish it with my wine and I'm going to do one 
more wine and then I'm gonna do one block of blue and then that's the end of this row You can just slip stitch to the top of that and turn your work. So around 45, we're going to do our three slip stitches. Chain three and one block. I'm going to go to my wine for one block. I'm going to weave in this blue because that's the end of it. I don't have any more. So one wine and then I'm going to go to red. So I'm going to tie this blue to this wine color just because it's so short and I can't really weave it in that far. So with my red, we're on um, round 45 by the way, so with my red I'm going to do three blocks. I'm going to finish my last stitch here with my wine. I'm going to really just pull it across. Um, we're going to bring in the curry too in this row. So, I'm going to do um, two wine two blocks of wine so I'm going to finish that with my curry color. So after the curry color, I am going back to the wine. So I'm just going to carry this wine um, over to my next block. And with my curry color, this will be my beak. I'm going to do one block. I'm 
So I'm going to finish that with my wine. And with my wine, I'm going to do one block. And I'm going to go to blue and do six blocks of blue. So that's my six blocks done. I'm going to slip stitch and turn my work. So I am just dropping everything that I have because that's the kind of day I'm having. Go into your chain three space, slip stitch, and chain three. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start this off by doing six blocks. We're on round 46. We're going to do six blocks of the blue, and then we're going to go to the curry color. So this is my sixth block. I'm going to finish my last double crochet with my curry color and I'm doing two blocks of curry. And then I'm going to wine after this. So <clears throat> oh gosh. You don't have any wine to go to. I have to start another bobbin. Oh, that's a horrible beginning. So, I am going to do, where am I here? Two curry, one wine, and then three red. So, one wine. Three red. And then I'm going back to my wine for one block. Oh, I'm going to have a great big knot.
So that's my third red. I'm going to go back to my wine color. And with my wine color, I'm going to do one block and then one block of blue and that ends the row. I don't have blue over here because why would I? That would just make sense. I'm going to do this small little blue color. I'm telling you, you got to have the patience of a saint. Some days, I tell you. So, I'm going to do my one block of blue, and that's it. I got nowhere else to go. Yes, of course. Why would you unwind properly? So I'm going to slip stitch and turn my work. I'm just making a bigger mess after a bigger mess after a bigger mess. All right. <sighs> So we're on 47, this goes to 57, so we literally have 10 rows left. So, do your slip stitches. And your chain three, we're gonna do one block. Let's turn this sideways. We're going to do one block of blue, and then um, I'm just going to pull this tail up and weave it in. I'm going to do one block of blue and then go to the wine color. Oh, I'm going to make sure this is over on this side. So I'm going to go to wine for one block. And then I'm going to red. Oh, hold on on that. So I am going to red um, for three blocks. All right, that's my three blocks. And then I'm going to this curry color. I didn't expect to be doing curry for a third round. So I need to just kind of add, oh, I'm just gonna tie a knot here just to save this being such a pain in the butt. I didn't realize I had to do this curry for three rounds. I should have looked. Cause I only cut off enough to do two. I thought that was the end of it. Anyway, I can go back to your, oh, I got to pull my red over, over here. And we're going to go back to curry. We're going to do three curries. Oh good, I'm able to hide this knot. Sometimes you wonder.
So after my curry, what am I on, 47? After my curry, I'm going to do five blocks of blue. So, it's my curry. I'm going to do five blocks of blue to the end. So that's my five blocks. I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to turn my work. And then we're going to start cutting off color because this is coming to the end. And we only need, um, we only need blue and wine at this point. So when you cut off these colors, make sure you're leaving a decent tail that we're going to be able to weave in. So this red, I can go, I'm going to leave a tail. Oh, good gosh. This red, I'm going to leave a tail, I can go. The curry is kind of already done. So the only thing left that we need are wine and the blue. So I'm just going to take a minute here. I like to keep things clean as I go. Because I hate trying to deal with stuff after. So, already. So for round 48, we're going to do seven blocks in the blue, and then we're going to go to our wine for four blocks, and then back to our blue for one block. So baby steps, let's do seven blocks of blue. So this is my seventh block. I'm going to finish it with my wine color. And with my wine color, I'm going to do four blocks. And then I'm going back to my blue. That's my fourth one, and I'm all tangled up in my other one, and my other one I don't even need. So I'm going to finish this with my blue. I'm weaving in my wine color at the back because 
I don't think I need it anymore. This is it for the wine. It's just going to be blue from here on out. So that's my one block of blue. I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'll just tie these two in a knot. So we're only doing the blue. I'll finish that up after. So turn your work. So slip stitch. So uh, round forty nine, we're going to do eleven blocks with the blue. So that's my 11 blocks, so slip stitch, turn your work. Slip stitch. got two pieces <laughs> because I had two ends but now I'm just trying to make it one end so chain three you're gonna do ten blocks for this round this is round 50 So that's my 10 blocks. So this is the head. I think it's super cute. Super cute. So, slip stitch. And of course your next one is going to be nine blocks. So we're just counting down. That's nine. Slip stitch. Turn your work. Slip stitch. So next round is going to be eight blocks. Slip stitch. And do seven blocks. So we're just going to continue to count down. So we're just going to one one block at a time. So your next one's going to be six. Your next one's going to be five. 
four, three, two. I will meet you back. Oh gosh. I will meet you back when we have a couple of blocks left. So all this will go up on my pause screen. So I've got a couple blocks left. Oh, that was two blocks. I'm going to slip stitch. Turn my work. Last block. So that's our last block. So when we slip stitch, we're going to fasten off with a weaving tail. I'm going to turn this around. <sighs> Hard to show it all. It's big. It'd be a great big pillow or. Uh, mine's going to be a wall hanging, but uh, great big cardinal. Um, so this is going to be the end of the video. If so um, just weave where you fastened off. You're going to have to weave pretty good, I think. So let's quickly measure this for my battery dies. Now, keep in mind, this isn't blocked, so. In inches, it's 24 inches that way, probably 24 inches this way, 24 inches. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.